Um, today we talk about um, how to do a bedside clotting test. Um, we know that in our setup, it's hard to do an official coagulation profile for a patient. There are very few labs uh, in our government hospitals able to do those tests. And when you find these tests in the private labs, they are um, uh, difficult to afford for most of our patients. So we end up not doing all those uh, official uh, coagulation uh, studies for our patients. So we end up um, doing a bedside um, uh, clotting uh, test just to have an idea, uh, a qualitative idea of what's uh, going on with the coagulation mm -hmm. um, uh, system of the patient. So uh, we use this test commonly when we have a massive postpartum hemorrhage, a patient keeps oozing, they keep bleeding from uh, injection sites mm -hmm. and so on. We also use this test when we have abrupt shop placenta patients. We also use this test when we have eclampsia um, uh, patients just to see what's going on with the coagulation system of the patient. So there are several uh, tests that are done on the bedside to determine the coagulation um, status of a patient. So the first one I'll start with is the one we commonly uh, use on the ward. So how do we uh, do this test? So we withdraw blood uh, from a patient's vein. Uh, we time the time that we've uh, withdrawn blood. We put the blood in a plain um, red bottle uh, like this one. Uh, then um, what we do is that we hold the bottle um, in our hand uh, so that we keep it at room temperature uh, without turning it upside down um, for a while. We just keep it in that um, uh, way for about four minutes. After four minutes, we just uh, check if the clot has formed. And if we see that the clot hasn't formed, uh, we start um, tilting this bottle every minute um, up to about the seventh minute. We keep tilting it up like that. After one minute passes, then we hold it um, in our hands like that. Then after another minute, we check and we tilt back the bottle again. Then we bring it back, we hold it in our hands like that. Then we do. We continue doing the same up to a total of about seven to eight minutes. The blood hasn't clotted uh, in that time. We say that um, the test is positive. The patient has a coagulopathy. If the blood clots uh, within that seven to eight minutes, it means um, the patient is able to clot and there's no... Uh, coagulopathy. So that's the common method that is used and um, uh, where it's been tested it's been found to have um, a sensitivity of about 80% and a specificity of about uh, 40%. Um, that's, that's about this um, uh, common test. Then we have another similar test, kind of a modification of the test that we have just talked about where you have this bottle and you keep uh, it in your hand, but keep tilting it every 30 seconds. So you, after 30 seconds, you tilt it like that. After another 30 seconds, you tilt it like that. After another 30 seconds, you tilt it uh, the other way. For a total about, of about nine to 10 minutes. Where the blood fails to go onto the other side, you turn it like this, and when you turn it the other way, the blood does not flow to the other side. That's the amount of time it's taken the blood to clot. But the important is, thing is that the blood has clotted, and therefore the test is negative. The patient has no coagulopathy. If the blood fails to clot after these up and down turns in about 10 minutes, then you say that the test is positive, the patient has a coagulopathy, and therefore you treat that patient as someone with a coagulopathy. There's one last um, uh, test that uh, WHO advises us to use. I think it was uh, validated in people who had snake bites and 
um, this test was done on them on those snakes, snake bites that have um, venoms that prevent blood from clotting. So in this particular test, um, you get blood in the syringe, the same like in the, in the syringe, and like the same like in all these tests, you put about two mils of blood in a plain bottle, like this one. Then you put it still and upright in one place. At room temperature, just put it somewhere in this upright um, uh, situation. And then you come back after um, 20 minutes and, and just check if the blood has clotted. So you just tilt and see if there's a clot in there. If there's no clot, it means that the test is positive. This patient has a coagulopathy. And if uh, the clot has formed, you say that this patient has no coagulopathy and we can treat her or him as a patient uh, with um, a coagulopathy. So um, that's how we do a bedside clotting time in different ways. I think there's nothing that is really better than the other. We can just choose what whichever one is easier uh, in our setup. So the like I said, the one we commonly use here is the one where you hold for four minutes and keep turning every minute until you reach a total of seven minutes. If the blood hasn't clotted in seven minutes, then you say there's a coagulopathy. If it has clotted, then you say there's no coagulopathy. So um, that's the end of this um, short presentation. Uh, thank you for listening and see you in the next one.